Good Saturday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's weather forecast, I will be tracking the weekend weather with the temperatures and the precipitation out there, as well as a major winter storm looking increasingly likely into next week with heavy snow and severe weather. And then an Arctic blast with more snowstorms will be ending January and moving into early February. We'll be tracking that in this video. Thank you to everybody sending in the snow reports from this past week's snowstorm across the Midwest, the Central Plains, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast. We had nine inches of snow across southwestern Nebraska, eight inches in Three Lakes, Wisconsin. Auburn, Maine even saw seven inches here. North Platte, Nebraska, around four inches. And Millville, Wisconsin here, around three and a half inches this past week for snowfall. But as we move into the day today, we have the colder temperature anomalies out west here in the western two-thirds of the country, while the eastern two-thirds of the United States and even up here into Canada will see much above average temperatures through the day today, and that really continues in a big way into the day on Sunday, January 22nd here tomorrow. And looking at the temperatures, these are your high temperatures this afternoon with the deeper snowpack. We're going to be expecting highs in the upper teens to mid-20s up here into the upper Midwest across the Dakotas into Minnesota, but milder snow-free conditions across the deep south with temperatures springboard up into the 40s, 50s, and 60s down here, and that will continue as we head through the day on Sunday, much of the same carbon copy type of temperatures as we get into the day on Sunday across most of the country. But if you guys are with me on this video, definitely don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button down below and the like button as well, that thumbs up button. It definitely helps to get all of this weather information out to more and more people. So I definitely appreciate all the subscriptions out there, all the likes, definitely much appreciated. Hit both buttons if you will. Uh, Saturday, January 21st, definitely going to see a new system developing across the Southern Plains, moving off the front range. And this is going to be pro propagating up across the mid-Mississippi Valley into the day on Sunday, January 22nd. And we already have winter weather advisories in the purple shade of colors here and winter storm warnings across the front range getting into northeastern New Mexico and western Kansas where we are gearing up for a few to several inches of snow going in through th uh, this weekend. So definitely be on guard for that. As we go into the noon hour today, we're already seeing that snow flying around part of Kansas back into eastern Colorado here into the front uh, the front range and then we're talking about some rainfall down here into eastern Oklahoma, eastern Texas, and into Louisiana around noon time frame. That will continue into the afternoon, and Sunday morning around 6 a.m. will spread more of that snow up here across the Illinois Valley, getting into places like Rockford, Illinois, Chicago, down through the Champaign-Urbana area, and then over there towards Indianapolis. Heavier rains will be falling across the southeast. Going into Sunday evening, some of the heavier snows will be overspreading places like Detroit, Toronto, getting up toward Montreal all here into Pennsylvania and New York State and then heavier rain up and down the East Coast from Georgia through the Carolinas into Virginia and then as we go through the day on Monday especially Monday morning a heavier band of snow will be focusing itself across portions of interior New England from Maine through Vermont New Hampshire and eastern New York State with all rain likely across the I-95 corridor with maybe some snow mixing in on the backside Monday afternoon. Looking at the total snow accumulations from today through Monday, this is going through the 23rd time frame. A heavier batch of snow is likely across the front range here near Denver, all, all the way farther east into western Kansas. A lighter batch of snow here across the Midwest in portions of the Ohio Valley, mainly a one to three inch snow event in some of these areas. And then picking back up with some more heavy snow across interior New England from upstate New York through Vermont, New Hampshire, and portions of coastal Maine. Zooming it in here, you can definitely see a swath of about five to eight inches of snow looks likely across eastern Colorado, getting into portions of west central Kansas, and then one to three inches farther to the east. And then across portions of the Ohio Valley, again, another one to three inch snow there, and then picking back up with another five to eight inch swath up here across upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and uh, portions there of coastal Maine going through the day on Monday. And that's going to be causing at least some moderate to major travel impacts across the front range here into western Kansas, and then some limited to minor impacts there across portions of the Illinois Valley, the Ohio Valley, and then picking back up with those moderate travel inconveniences, especially up here into Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, and portions of upstate New York going through the day on Monday. Also going to be some heavy rain producing storms down here across the southeast, places that have seen a lot of rains recently. 
We're going to be talking about adding totals up over two inches across portions of Mississippi, Alabama, much of central Georgia, and the Carolinas as well. And that extends farther up into the outer banks of Virginia. We're talking a widespread swath there in the purple and red shaded colors going through Monday of around one to three inches of rain. And that will cause concern for flash flooding Saturday into Sunday, a marginal risk up here across the Gulf Coast. That will move up into the southeast here across Georgia, North Florida, and the Carolinas and even the Outer Banks of Virginia there Sunday into the day on Monday. And speaking of Monday, we have a new system again diving down across the Four Corners region and this time all the way south into northern Mexico on Monday. And this is going to be propagating eastward on Tuesday as a trough across central and north Texas and then continuing to eject across the mid-Mississippi Valley and the Ohio Valley going into the middle of the week on Wednesday, January 25th. That's our next winter storm potential as we move into next week here. So starting on Monday, January 23rd, we have that low pressure pressure system all the way down to the Rio Grande Valley here, very far south with some of that higher elevation snow across New Mexico. As we go into the day on Tuesday, we'll pick up some of that moisture from the Pacific Ocean with that subtropical jet and some Gulf of Mexico moisture as well, combining for lots of precipitation across the lower Mississippi Valley. Heavier snow could be breaking out with some rain mixing in at times across the DFW Metroplex here in Dallas-Fort Worth, up there toward Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and even Little Rock will be very close to that rain snow line as well. Meanwhile, severe weather looks likelier down here into Louisiana and Mississippi and farther east near the New Orleans region, getting up here into portions of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, Mobile, Alabama, and northwestern Florida Panhandle. The Storm Prediction Center has gone ahead and issued a day four slight risk for severe weather across those areas. So definitely want to be on high alert early next week. And then that system will continue to propagate northeast across the Ohio Valley on Wednesday the 25th here. Heavier snow will be breaking out across portions of Illinois, especially getting into Indiana, northwestern Ohio, and then on up toward Detroit. Heavier snow will be breaking out farther east toward Pittsburgh, getting into western New York State. And then all rain, maybe some stronger thunderstorms down here across the Carolinas into southern Georgia and northwestern Florida on Wednesday. And then that will continue to move up the East Coast here with a 994 millibar low across upstate New York by the time we get into Thursday, January 26th. All that snowfall will be spreading into southeastern Canada across Quebec, Canada at that point. Again, all rain for that I-95 corridor late next week. Looking at the swath of potential snow amounts here early next week. Again, we're not going to put uh, digits on this or numbers on this right now, but definitely the swath is there for heavy snow across North Texas, getting into eastern portions of Oklahoma, the Arklatex here, and then on up through the western Ohio Valley early in the week. Late in the week, we'll see that spread up across the Ohio Valley and portions of interior New England. We could see some snow on the backside across the I-95 corridor, but again, the Heavier amounts will be much farther north of the I-95 corridor going into the late week period. Also, some very heavy rain all of next week across the deep south, the southeast, and the eastern seaboard here. Another additional one to three plus inches across many of the same areas that will be hit this weekend into early next week. So definitely going to be adding up those rainfall totals. So much so that we actually have a day four excessive rainfall outlook that includes a slight risk for flash flooding across Louisiana, southeastern Arkansas, and to west central portions there of Mississippi, including the Jackson area, getting down into Baton Rouge, Monroe, Louisiana, and just west of New Orleans. That is for Tuesday the 24th into Wednesday the 25th, so definitely watching out for some flash flooding down here. But on up to the north, today we have very cold temperatures. Look at the minus 40, 50, even 60 degree below zero temperature up here into Siberia and the northern portions of Canada and the Arctic, and that is going to be plunging southward during the middle of next week very slowly pushing its way down farther south into central and eventually southern Canada by the middle of next week. And by the time we get to the very end of uh, January on the Monday the 30th and even Tuesday, January 31st, we're going to see much colder temperatures intrude into portions of the northern plains, getting into the upper Midwest and the upper Great Lakes region with all that warmth suppressed farther south across the Gulf Coast. Looking at the potential high temperatures on Monday, January 30th. Now, again, this is about 10 days out or so. 
but we still see potentially some below zero, even double digit below zero high temperatures across most of southern Canada. And then that will sneak farther south into the Dakotas, portions of Montana and Wyoming, and then single digits across Iowa here, Minnesota and Wisconsin. All the milder temperatures, the 50s and 60s will be suppressed farther down to the south. And looking at those potential wind chills on Monday, January 30th, yeah, we're talking 30, 40, even 50 degree below zero wind chills coming back farther south and across southern and southeastern Canada. And some of that will be pushing south with those 20 to 30 degree uh, below zero wind chills across the Dakotas, Montana, Wyoming, and back across Nebraska and the upper Midwest during this period. And again, that will continue going into early February, the first full week or so of February. This is from February 3rd through the 10th time frame, getting into the second week in February. It does look like that Arctic blast does continue across most of southwestern central Canada and on down here into portions of the northern plains and the upper Midwest. And we also have an active period of weather as well with a strong belt of the jet stream moving across the central portion of the country. Higher precipitation anomalies up here across the Pacific Northwest and southwestern Canada and that will transition farther southeast across the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valley and the southeast as well. Meanwhile, it looks to be a lot quieter across portions of Texas and back up here into the Four Corners region and southern California as we get during that time frame. And again, it all has to do with the positioning of this jet stream. We have that ridge starting to build out west and the colder air out east here during that February 3rd time frame. A wavy jet pattern does promise some more snowstorm potential. And then as we get through February 10th, we'll start to break down this pattern a little bit with that subtropical jet moving even farther south, which will push all that colder air even farther south into the second week in February as well. And I did draw this up for you guys. My predictions of the first week in February here, it looks like the storm track generally will be across the northwestern United States, moving down across portions of the central plains and then eastward toward the eastern seaboard. To the north of these lows, you're going to have more of the snowfall here flying across the upper Midwest, the northern plains and parts of the Ohio Valley with more rain and storms farther south across Texas and the Gulf Coast states. But getting into the second week in February, as we start to break that pattern down again, pushing farther south with that colder air, that does mean the low pressure system will get farther south as well with more snow spreading south again. A similar pattern to what we have now across portions of the Southern Plains on up here through the mid-Mississippi Valley and the Great Lakes region. And then the Eastern Seaboard will see more rain and storms here from Florida on up there toward the I-95 corridor into that second week in February. So to recap my weather forecast, weekend weather, temperatures, and precipitation forecast in this video. A major winter storm is looking increasingly likely next week with heavy snow and severe weather. An Arctic blast with more snowstorms is looking likelier as we get into late January and into early February here in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, press the thumbs up button down below. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new and hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great Saturday, everybody. A great weekend, and I will see you all in the next video.